With the Otoma Jam 2022, more free indie Otoma games dropped. And I made a list for you citing the developer site because I haven't played them all. <laughs> so it's easy for you to find your next free indie Otoma game. And I have another little interesting addition at the end of the video, how you can partly play big title Otoma games on your phone for free or very little money. Starting with Once Upon an Earl. The story follows Noelle Culpapa, who in a world where women are considered lower than men, stakes her claim and conceals herself behind a male identity. After striking fame and fortune with her butler Everly, she is soon thrown into the whirlwind of drama involving the cocky Earl of Darlington and a strange blue-haired gentleman. Arrow 143 is a hacking dating game with a notorious flood. The free version features one route and two CGs, but more content is to come, especially when you back it on Kickstarter. You're such a flirt. Do you really think anyone would fall for that? You follow after him, lacing your tone with that routine lightness taunting him back. Mika's face softens and your breath hitches at the sincerity in his golden eyes. I don't think anyone else would fall for that. Just you. An adopt-a-boyfriend, Riley has grown tired of time wasters and first dates with no chemistry. Wanting to feel loved again, she hastily turns to AR, the agency for romancing animal folk. But then even two animals show up at her door. Will she pursue the friendship and adoration that comes with the people-pleasing bunny Adamis? Or push through the stoic exterior of cute kitten Kujo to find his heart of gold underneath? Traveler's Road is a dating experience inspired by D&D. Slaying goblins? Cool. Stealing dragon sword? Sure. But stuck on a three-week-long, quiet journey transporting a cart with goods with two squabbling party members? Ew. Not that you're complaining, considering everything the job pays pretty well, and your two companions, Ottomund and Rain, well, they can't be all bad, right? It's up to you in either case. Grow closer over the course of your journey and all its trials and tribulations, or keep your distance. In Here's my application, please date me. After losing your job, you move back home. While job hunting, you meet up with a few new people who can help you find a new occupation. Will you be able to find a new job back at home with all these distractions? An overall fluffy and lighthearted game. Under maintenance. After a rough day at work, all you want to do is settle in with your favorite Otome game, only to realize it's gone down for maintenance. How will you pass these troubling times? Risk going to a watering hole to drown your sorrows in a beverage of choice? Begrudgingly scroll through a dating app to meet your love for the night? Either way, adventure, shenanigans and hot singers in your area await. Hummingbird's Crown Bren is a hard-working book editor who has recently turned 30 and begins to ruminate about her life. Her only solace is gaming and her small group of two online friends, Kanadia and Lonan which she sometimes chats and plays with. What does it mean to be an adult? Why does my job make me feel incomplete? Why do I feel like I don't fit anywhere? On May the 31st, taking advantage of an upcoming long weekend, Canaria suggests they should finally meet in person at the upcoming GameCon, a medium-sized local game event. Unfortunately, the day of the event itself, a terrible accident happens at the Ian building, the place where it's being held. Ren panics and doesn't know what to do until... Huh? Why is it suddenly May 31st again? Did she just go back in time? This is a time loop mystery with two LIs and two endings, including point and click investigation. In Mythic Meetup, you are an unsuspecting human in search of a little more spice to their life. And you have just followed a mysterious email link to a server of real life mythical creatures. Well, this wasn't quite the dating pool you had in mind, but some of them have definitely got their eye on you. Two female and male allies in voiced video calls. In Meteor Shower, Lori Lewis has a comfy student council position, mostly supportive friends and doting parents. No girl in Seaview High could ask for more. She wants a change though, some excitement. Maybe a new boyfriend wouldn't hurt? Resigned to the monotony of her responsibilities in this tiny coastal town, she bumps into a stranger. Everyone knows him as Seaview's punk. Could the dicey rumors about him be true? Or is he the change she needs? Could he hold the keys to the excitement she yearns for? This demo features one love interest. In a roaring affair, 
Amy and her family run the Sterry Troupe, a world-renowned group of circus performers. When a skirmish happens on stage during one of their performances, their trusted lion Henry is accused of attacking a rich noblewoman. With her dad and lion arrested for a crime she knows they didn't commit, Amy decides to get to the bottom of what exactly happened. Plays Amy as she teams up with one of two men as she investigates in order to save her family. In Pit Stop in Purgatory, Astrid wakes up in Purgatory and has to make peace with her death. Only problem is, she doesn't remember anything. Point and click your way through adventure-based gameplay mixed with visual novel storytelling and solve the mystery of our heroine's untimely demise. In Love and Oasis, together with 10-year-old Kida, you venture towards a secure settlement that you've heard of down south. But you should have known it wouldn't be a walk in the park to get there. Will you find romance or heartbreak wherever you end up? You'll meet two love interests with their own struggles and multiple endings. Hand in hand with Destiny. It's your first day back at uni and you're looking forward to a pleasant second year at Rosera Magic Academy together with your good friends, Ayla and Wynne. Your biggest problems are deciding what field you want to pursue in the future and expanding your horizons in the magical world. Surely no one is about to make a prediction that will put a spotlight on you and turn your peaceful days into a nightmare. Eternal Winter was the name of the curse that killed the heirs of the Eternian Empire, whose heartlessness and cruelty were known far and wide. The bearer of the curse would be born with a small fragment of ice near their heart. As they grew older, the ice would slowly encroach upon their heart and encase it until they die. Although the age of death varies, none of them made it past their 20th year. And so the Esternian Empire met its doom and was replaced by another ruling family. One day, the Estern family's last descendant and bearer of the curse discovered a possible way to break it. But can't you believe in a solution derived from a long-lost fairy tale? Is true love the answer to her family's long-lasting predicament? And if it is, would you ever learn to truly love someone? Sounds like the indie version of Frozen meets Shu in Norwegian to me. <laughs> I definitely like the concept. Though the Ottoman Gem version only includes the common route and two half character routes. Other non Ottoman Gem games. Andromeda 6, set in year 3025, you take on the role of a lost traveler. With a no memory of your past, you wake up on the starship Andromeda 6, surrounded by its crew of outcasts, each with their own vivid backstory and one common goal. You must try to recover the pieces of your past to uncover your true identity and purpose while learning to survive the political turmoil overtaking the galaxy after its recent terrorist attacks. On your journey you may end up discovering more than what you bargained for. But can you handle the truth of your past or will it end up consuming you? Will you follow the destiny the stars have written for you or forge a new path? You can play as a male, female or non-binary MC and can romance or not romance whoever you want. In Blind Griffin it's the Roaring Twenties. Alcohol-loving Americans are chafing underneath the restrictions of prohibition, but speakers have thankfully risen to fill the void with ill begotter booze. The Blind Griffin is one of such speakeasy in San Francisco, but it's about to go out of business because its employees are a den of magicians who are more concerned with their magical studies and experiments than moonshine. Desperate not to lose the building that has become their haven, they hire the first street smart gutter snipe they find with some experience to help turn things around. But could she perhaps turn out to be the strongest magician of them all? A pinch of magic. Basha is a young witch who has just graduated high school. While their friends were off jet-setting and traveling around the world, Basha had to go back to their hometown Linsdale to take care of their grandparents, who ran a small magic store. There were two major issues though. One, magic is strictly banned. And two, their grandparents' store is on the verge of bankruptcy. Here you can also play as a male or female MC. In Inner Maud Risk, Alex is a college student studying nursing and recently freed from her unbearable helicopter parents. Far from home and trying to get through classes as quickly as possible, she's grown burnt out and quite lonely. However, she hears about a mysterious social media account filled with images of ruined buildings, rooftop views and rooms trapped in time, framed by a challenge. Her curiosity peaked, a spark of rebellious energy stirs within her. 
She sets out to find the origins of the photos and finds three urban explorers, each of them unearthing something new and unfamiliar in her heart. Here you can romance male as well as female love interests. This time around I also included some free BL games. Your Dry Delight. Richter and his boss Leslie are private detectives hired to help enforce prohibition in Cleveland, Ohio. However, when Richter catches the eye of a charismatic mob boss, a different story falls into place. Your Dry Delight also features a somewhat different approach to roots. While there are technically two romance roots, they tie together at the end of the story, resulting in a single ending. Project Perfectly Normal Project X, a top secret, privately funded project designed to train the ultimate assassins, was recently shut down under government orders. Now, dozens of children trained in order to solve the situation and offer these children a second chance at life. The government has created a special foster program. Unfortunately, there's also a bunch of people who wish to kill you along the way. And now the new way to experience Japanese big otome games partly free is with the new Automate Collection app, where you can play demos of successful otome games for free and play them fully for not more than 858 yen a month which is at the current exchange rate like $6, I don't know. It's just crazy cheap compared to a normally like $60 game. So you can just sign up for a month, speed through the game in a month and get the full experience for 800 yen. And you even get additional scenes for the anime or additional CGs or pictures. It's amazing. And the games now fully over time will unlock after each other, starting with Nilad Mirari no Temmin, Hakoki, Amnesia, Hirin Kakeda. So if you ask me the perfect way to experience full price games on your phone for a really competitive price. <laughs> and then you get all the anime and the stage plays and everything. And I featured even more free games in my first video about free indie Otoma games.